Morning guys. This time I'm going to talk to you about trust and why it's so important for a design business. Uh, well, not just design business, for any business really. But um, you know, recently in Relab we've gone we've gone through a bit of a trust issue between us and customers. Uh, but it's for the better, I think, because we've learned something from it. And it's something that I have definitely learned myself in the past. But, you know, scaling the business and that we're getting bigger than what we were, uh, obviously that needs to be applied to the rest of the team or particularly the ones who's just came in recently who I guess needs to need to get used to on how we do the, our things and like how we operate between us and the customers. So, and because of that, I think I'd like to talk to you about a particular challenge that we are currently going through. Uh, it's not an easy one. It sounds like an easy one. It sounds simple, which is just building trust. But as easy as it sounds, it takes a while. It takes a lot of effort and it takes um, a lot of, I guess, a number of people to work together to try and achieve it successfully. So I'm going to talk to you about that and hopefully you enjoy it. Guys, this morning I'm going to talk to you about trust. I've probably mentioned this uh, many times before in the previous vlogs, but it's actually a very, very important thing. Well, the reason why I'm talking about this is because um, we're kind of going through a trust issue at the moment with one of our customers. Well, I think from my own perspective, and the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I think it's very important and it's very, very critical for the business. I mean, you know, like at the end of the day, it's not like we're trying to save lives or someone's going to die because of this, right? Um, and most of our customers are in, um, in retail or the commercial industry, which means they're trying to sell things, whether it's clothing, whether it's uh, shoes, whether it's, um, you know, uh, bathroom or kitchenware or whatever it is um, so you know it's not like someone's gonna die because of it right so uh, but the reason why it is so important is because with trust we ensure that the business runs and with trust as well we ensure that we retain our customer base and retain we retain the type of jobs that comes to us and pretty much the trust of the people that we work with themselves, um, who are our key contacts within those businesses, right? Um, so to give you an example, I guess, um, from our perspective in running Relab for five years now, um, the reason why we survived until today and the reason why we're given more opportunities on get exposed to more opportunities is because of the trust that's that's been given to us by our previous or current customers um, and to build that trust man like that is so so difficult I mean like a year might not guarantee a trust from a particular customer or person um, from my previous experience it can sometimes take a year or so to build that trust to try and prove yourself so hard that you're worth of the job or you're worth of the relationship and once, but the beauty is once that happens, once that trust happens and once it gets to that level where they don't even question you anymore about your solution, they, they rely on you, know, they rely on you on so many things that you're really seen as a partner, as, as part of a team, um, it's such a beautiful thing because you don't have to worry too much about the budget, you don't have to worry too much about you know, trying to convince or sell them things, but they just trust you. Um, and once you get it to that level, then it's so important and it's so, so important to maintain it. How do you maintain it from my point of view is really to try and um, deliver as good as you would um, and if not better, right? Which means you got to constantly improve yourself, try and figure out, you know, what are the things that you can do as an agency to improve the customer service. Uh, improve the customer experience that it's so easy and they don't have to worry about so many things so it is from my point of view I guess one of the things that we're going through right now is um, 
And it's because new resources has come into Relab as well that, you know, it takes time for people to get used to a particular brand or to a particular customer or a relationship or whatever. It takes a little bit of time, right? Uh, and that kind of slows things down a little bit. And from the customer's point of view, obviously, they don't really care that someone new has came into the business. Um, all they care about is you have to deliver as how you would, as good as, how you, as, good as usual. And if you've done a really simple mistake, then it becomes a big deal, right? In our case though, we've done simple mistakes and we've done big mistakes in the last couple of months. Uh, and that's really just because of experience and um, some people not knowing the brand or just not used to a certain process, which is fine as long as you learn from it. But um, from a business point of view, obviously it hurts because uh, it hurts the trust that you've built so long and then and um, it's so it's it doesn't take much at all to taint that trust uh, and so my point in this video is trust is really everything uh, when it comes to business um, not just design business but yeah, pretty much everything and any type of relationships really like if you've um, ruined a trust between a husband and wife type of situation then that's going to be very difficult for the family as well right uh, so it's the same exactly the same thing in business or any other relationships that uh, once you build trust and do maintain it if you want it to go for the long run and if you want it to flourish then you have to maintain it really really well and everyone who's involved in it in that particular relationship will have to be uh, very supportive of what you do and on your views on this whole trust thing. Um, so that's my message for the day. I hope it's valuable for you. Uh, it definitely is valuable for me because in the past as well, I've done so many mistakes. Uh, but one thing that is so important when you're trying to build something like this is maintaining trust with the people who works really, really well with you. Okay. Um, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.